One thing we all got in common lately is a lot of time on our hands and there's never been more options at our fingertips to keep from getting bored at home. What's up guys, Chris Killian here. Today we're jumping on HBO Go and these are the 10 best shows to binge. Did you know that Go spelled backward is OG? Which makes sense because HBO is the OG when it comes to quality television. And trust me when I tell you, this was a tough list to make. Kicking off the list at number 10 is Sex in the City. I'm not gonna lie, for me, this spot was a toss up with Silicon Valley, a show which is admittedly more in my wheelhouse. However, there's also no denying the influence Carrie and the gang had on an entire generation, and considering Sex and the City's popularity earned it two separate film spinoffs, there's a reason it has to be included on this list. Number 9. Curb Your Enthusiasm While improv on television sounds like it would probably be a bad idea, leave it to Seinfeld co-creator Larry David to craft one of the most hilarious shows to ever grace HBO. Number 8 is Crashing. Pete Holmes' semi-autobiographical show that follows his start in stand-up comedy is exactly the kind of show that HBO is perfect for. It's hilarious and features a who's who of stand-up comedy cameos, but can also be just as reflective and showcase the sadder side of the funny people who strive to perform. Coming in at number 7 is Watchmen. For good reason, a lot of people were hesitant to jump on board with this series that was loosely based on the acclaimed graphic novel, but those hesitations were soon laid to rest as it turns out Watchmen is a riveting miniseries. Exhibiting a rare self-control, showrunner Damon Lindelof has declined to return for a second season, so from beginning to end, the first season of Watchmen feels much more complete than other series. Number 6 is Westworld. At times, Westworld is almost too smart and confusing for its own good. Considering it was created by Jonathan Nolan, who's co-written Mindbenders with his brother Chris like Memento, The Prestige, and Interstellar, this makes sense. If you can get past the brain-jarring timeline shifts, then you'll see Westworld as a high-quality, brilliantly acted show that deserves to be binged. Number 5 is Boardwalk Empire, which in my opinion is a criminally underrated show. It features Steve Buscemi as Nucky Thompson, a fictional bootlegger in New Jersey during the Prohibition era, mixed among some of history's most notorious real-life gangsters. If you want proof of how good this show is, consider that the pilot episode was directed by Martin Scorsese himself. Number 4 is Deadwood. Forget what you know about John Wayne Westerns, Deadwood drips with an authentic brutality it might have felt like to live in the Old West. Starring Timothy Oliphant and Ian McShane, the show garnered such a cult audience that it too eventually landed its own movie set 10 years after the events of the show, so watch them both together. In the third spot is Game of Thrones. For a time, Game of Thrones was the most popular must-watch series on television. It reached a fever pitch with its eighth and final season and had amassed so much interest, you know, maybe the show could have never ended in a way that made audiences happy. Still, the finale was blasted by fans and critics alike, and if the ending had been more well received, Game of Thrones might have gone down as the best television show of all time. Number 2 is The Wire. There's arguably never been a more authentic police drama than The Wire, and with good reason as it was created by David Simon, himself a former police reporter. Initially, The Wire didn't make a big splash, but audiences have since caught up to it, and it now ranks among the greatest television dramas ever. But the must-watch show in the top spot is what else? The Sopranos. If it wasn't going to be The Wire, it could only be The Sopranos, the godfather of crime dramas. It's widely regarded as the best television series of all time and absolutely deserves to be watched and re-watched over and over again. And that's our pick for the best shows to binge on HBO Go. Tweet me at Chris Killian or jump in on the comments and tell me what your favorite shows on HBO are. Be on the lookout for our other videos this week for recommendations for all the other streaming services and thanks for watching.